Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my husband here because we are going to be doing a little thrift challenge that you guys recommended. We're going to be doing the $25 thrift challenge so we each get $25, not a penny more. And you guys are going to vote on who you think found the best, coolest items for 25 bucks. So we're gonna start off with our favorite Goodwill and then I figured after that we could each go to, if we don't spend the $25 there, I figured we could like flip a coin on who gets to go to their favorite location after that. I feel like we you both have, have a, an advantage though, because I, I bet most of the subscribers are girls and no, they've told be... me several times that they love seeing your stuff. Okay, Multiple people have, so I don't think I have an advantage. But you guys can be a little tougher on me if you want to. So let's go thrifting. We just got here. I found these little heeled loafers, Ralph Lauren, but they are five and a half. They won't fit me. They are so so cute though. I'm not having much luck right now. Uh, hopefully Charlie's not doing any better than me, but I haven't found anything at all. I'd honestly buy this if it wasn't a Branson, Missouri t-shirt. I don't know, it's kind of cool. Wish it didn't have that on it though. And the sweaters now. Oh, this green sweater was pretty cute. Never heard of that brand, but I also really liked it. This little lambs in one. It's just really thick and I don't think I would actually wear it. I have found a few things I'm excited about though. Alright, I might actually grab this one. This one's kind of cool. Alright. Hmm. Might take this one too. Okay, so I feel like Daniel's already doing way, way, way better than me. He's finding so much good stuff, but I'm not giving up, okay? I got a bunch of good stuff too. I just need to try it on, so. I think that these are children's, you know, like definitely vintage. But how adorable is this print? It's a size 12, so. I don't think they'd comfortably fit me, or I would get it. So cute. Cool, I found this Coors Light long sleeve t shirt from 1989. It says it's a large, but looks like a little small. Okay, so plot twist. The dressing rooms are closed. Well, one of them's closed and the other one has a huge line. So I'm gonna have to, I don't know, try and figure this out a different way. All right, I'm moving on to the jackets now. I found a couple t-shirts and one long sleeve shirt that I might end up getting. Uh, I just showed Charlie and she really liked one of them. Uh, really, it's going to depend on if I find anything else that I think is better. So I only have $25. So I will update you guys if I find any jackets or outerwear. I moved on to the collared t-shirts. Um, this is, this is kind of cool. I might grab it. I don't know yet. It could go either way. I could see if, if it's styled right. I think it'd be kind of cool. I did just find this New York Yankees uh, button up. It's kind of like a jersey style. I think I'm gonna get that because it's kind of cool as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna win this competition. Look at this jacket I just found. It's a starter jacket, New York Yankees. Very cool. Charlie's gonna be pissed. All right, I always look through the cups just because I think old mugs are cool, but I did find this old Batman cup. It's from 1999. I think it's never been used. I did also find this Graceland book. It's unopened. It's kind of cool because we just went to Graceland, so I don't know if I'll get it because it's $5.99 and that's a lot of money, so I just figured I'd show you all. People are making knockoff Thrasher hoodies. This is so fake. Look at this tag. 
it's so thin too. It's crazy. Daniel's going through his choices, picking what he wants. I unfortunately only have one thing, so it looks like we're going to another Goodwill. Okay, we're back in the car after the first location, and we both have money left over. I only spent seven dollars, and Daniel spent how much? I have nine dollars left over. I think I spent like six, sixteen dollars. Yeah. So that, I had pretty good luck in that location. Yeah, he had really good luck. Um, I'm feeling like I'm going to lose. Anyways, so now we have we both have our own favorite locations after this one. So we are going to flip a coin as to which one we go to next. Um, we might have time to go to both. I'm not sure. So we're going to just go to flip a coin. Okay. What do you want? How's your tail? Um, I want tails and I want to go to prospect. All right. And I want, well, I get heads. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I'm heads and I want to go to the Hurstborn one. Which one? I never okay. find anything at the prospect one. Okay. So I'm heads, your tails. Mm -hmm. arrived at the location I chose, second location, and hopefully this doesn't backfire because this location has backfired on me before, but last time it was a success, so we'll see. Was it? Did you get anything yeah, last time? Yeah, I bought three things last time. I don't even remember. Up the mall. All right, we're at the second location. I just looked through all of these t-shirts and did not find anything at all. Figures. These are not my size, but how pretty. I think I'm for sure gonna get this long denim shirt. I told you guys I've been looking for one. Found this kind of like, I don't know how to say it, P L I S S E <laughs> material blouse that I kind of want to try on. And then this really pretty top. But it definitely will not fit me because I have very small boobs. But I am gonna look up this brand because it looks very nice. Okay, so I decided to be very kind. For... Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, that really was it. Oh, I thought you didn't I was find gonna... anything. No, I found four other things. Didn't try them on. I just went with oh. what I knew I liked. Didn't try on anything. I just went with the denim you know, shirt that I knew I liked. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time though. It's 8.17 and they close at nine, so we'll see. Okay, third location, definitely last location because they close in 30 minutes. Wish us luck. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna get this because it looks pretty sheer. It might've been like lingerie or something. But it's so, so pretty. I love it. Okay, we are home now. And plot twist, neither of us actually spent $25, right? No, we both spent under $25. Um, we probably could have kept going because there's several other Goodwills we could have gone to, but everything closed. Yeah, it was very late. And we just thought it would be easier to keep track of totals. Still, hmm. Still there. Hopefully nobody saw that. Anyways. Um, but yeah, so we thought it'd be easier to keep track of totals if we just ended it tonight. So you guys can vote after we do our little hauls and let us know if you think Daniel found the best stuff for under $25 or if I found the best stuff for under $25. So I, it really, it's under 20 too. Yeah, so it's under 20 actually. But you can go. I'll let you go first. I think I had pretty good luck. Actually, better luck than what I had uh, probably the past couple months. Uh, mostly at the first good luck. Is that, is that the only good luck I've lost with that? Yeah. I think it's only so started off strong. I got this New York Yankees yeah, that's crazy. starter bomber jacket. The fact that that wasn't on the uh, special rack is enough. Yeah. Special I showed rack. you all. Um, well, you're going to see all of this stuff again. You've already seen. So I got this jacket. Thought it was very cool. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. All that good emotion. I got this t-shirt. I'm definitely gonna be stealing all of this. It says, in the mood. It's so funny. Yeah, I thought it was cool. I wanna look that up, like that that brand on the tag. Yeah, I love so, so it might be a, a woman. See, it's a pink tag. Yeah, it's cute. So, either way, I thought it was cool. I'll probably wear it, so. I think it's uh, kind of cute. Yeah, I could have spent the $25, but I put like four shirts back because I was, uh, hoping that I find cooler stuff than the other Goodwills we went to, but I ended up not finding anything. Right, and plus, you wouldn't you have gone over twenty five if you got those four shirts because they weren't t shirt pricing; they were shirt. Yeah, pricing. I would have. I I would have had to put a couple of them back. Oh, I probably, I had nine dollars left, and those shirts are like, how much are they? Now? Only like five dollars. Five or, or something. five or six dollars. Yeah. Uh, also, our dogs are down here. If you hear them, sorry. 
This shirt, I think, is going to be too small for me, and it's a little too thin for my liking anyway. Uh, but it's from 1989. It's single stitch, Coors Light, long sleeve t-shirt, and I just couldn't really pass it up. I thought it was so cool. It is really cool. Uh, I'll probably end up selling it uh, just because I don't think I'll wear it. I think it's too thin, uh, maybe a little bit too small. I don't know if it's too small, but it's too thin. I don't, I don't like how thin it is. But I thought it was cool. Thought it was worth buying for a dollar ninety-nine. My last item, and it is what would you call this? It's like a baseball jersey. Uh, were these next to each other? No, they weren't. They were in. Uh, That's crazy. Two different aisles, but I bet the same person donated yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, the brand is. Cooperstown collection, which I've actually bought stuff. Oh, you have? Yeah, I've thrifted a few I items that. from from this. I probably have them still, but uh, I just thought it would be cool over, like I said in the, my vlog clip, over like a white t-shirt or mm -hmm. something like that. Very cute. So, I'll also <clears throat> be selling that. Altogether, they charged me like six dollars for this. to mine i bought one thing from each store we went to um i don't think i even showed you guys this so first thing we hold that for me thank you i actually saw a, a piece just like this today at a tiktok and it was a girl doing how to dress for winter when you live somewhere that never gets cold um and she showed an identical sweater to this um, it's by the brand Crystal Kate. It's a size medium, and it is a, like, ribbed white tank top sweater with my flag on it. And, um, pretty cute, right? Did you, um, you didn't try anything on, did you? No, because, like, long dressing room lines, and I was trying to be as time efficient as possible because we were running out of time. So, this is really cute. I can't wait to wash it. I also don't think I showed you guys this. Um, also, just saw this in a TikTok. If you know who Emma Chamberlain is, she just released a line with Aritzia. And it's all like very basic, kind of reminds me of like early 2000s Banana Republic gap pieces. Um, but this is a zip up cable knit little hooded sweater cardigan thing. And there's one like identical to it in her collection. Size medium. I wish it was a small, but the like loose casual fit will still be cute. And it's by the brand Joneswear Sport. And then last but not least, if you watched my most recent video, I talked about how desperately I've been trying to find an oversized vintage denim long sleeve shirt. And I found this on the putback rack at the second Goodwill. It's by the brand Presswick and More Casual. Never heard of them. Me either. Uh, but this is like the exact wash I was looking for. I was so excited when I found it. It has a pocket, soft, cozy. And it, I, it's giving me Chessie from The Parent Trap. And I want to recreate her look, so maybe I'll have to do that. Make sure to let us know if you are Team Daniel or Team Charlie. And let us know if you want us to do a rematch, do an under $50 challenge, under, I feel like it can't get any lower than under I get, 20. I, well, I don't know. I mean, yeah, a lower than 20, but we could do other challenges like. We could pick out outfits for each other. Yeah, and it, also it doesn't have to be just clothes. So yeah. You know, we could be items. Uh, yeah, like or, antiques or anything like and, that. And, you know, if we go to a uh, Peddler's Mall or yeah. like flea market. But yeah, so just make sure to cast your vote down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow us over on Instagram. I'm at Charlie, and Daniel is... I just changed my user. What is it? Uh, that 
I am now the non-disposables. The non-disposables, he is a film and regular photographer, but yeah, he had to change I, his username. Yeah, I wanted to change my username, so the non-disposables, because I'm not throwing my cameras away. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and we will see you all next time. Bye! Peace!